teachers. In this video, I will introduce you to the Educational Testing Service, ETS, Pass 2 Library of Examples. This is a place where I'd like you to visit during the semester as we gear up for our performance assessments in C408, your Danielson work, and then also task four for your co-planning and co-teaching work. And then this is useful for your upcoming internship next semester. For each text box, examples from two different candidates are provided for you to compare. One response was scored at the met exceeded standards level, and the other response was scored at the does not meet partially met standards level. ETS provides this information for illustrative purposes only. These excerpts are not templates for candidates to use to guarantee a successful score. Last year, two students had their task two submissions sent back for plagiarism. One was because the document was too close to a previously submitted task two document from last year, and the second was because the submitted document too closely resembled documents provided in the library of examples. Now, when you're using these examples, they may not be in your content area, but that's fine. The idea is look for the evidence that the questions provide at the end of each narrative. About PPAT scoring, raters look for the evidence that's written. If the evidence is up in your head, but not on your submission, your score will not be as high as it could be. Throughout our class, you will hear or read the phrase, walk the talk. Use the questions after each narrative and a highlighter to see if you can find the information asked for in the PPAT Task 2 text box questions. Doing this exercise should help you understand why the two examples earned the scores that they did. Remember, it's all about providing evidence. I hope this video has been helpful to you, and thank you for listening.